guys. Okay, here I am messing with the lighting on this. Is that too bright? I think that'll work. Okay, so one way of factoring was to find the GCF. So you divide out a GCF and we got our simplest form. Another way would be finding the difference of square. So this is a different way to factor. Um, and so you were looking at those perfect squares. And of course, this is only if it's subtracting. Another way to factor is if you do not have a GCF. So you look here and I don't have a GCF. I am going to use this method that you guys did last year. And what you do, once I do this, you'll catch on pretty quickly. But you multiply these, for the first and last terms. So I get 12x squared. Then I find the factors of 12x squared. That's going to equal 7x when added. Okay. So I just go through my factors. 1x times 12x. Uh, 2x times 6x. 3x and 4x. So those are my factors of 12x squared. If I add these two together, I get 7x. So I take that, branch them off, and put 3x, and that's a positive 4x, and that was a positive 3x. And I'm going to bring this first guy down and this last guy down. And then we do what's called grouping. We group that first two terms and the last two terms. And from this grouping, I look for a GCF. What do they have in common? They have an X in common. So I pull out the X and I'm left with X plus three. What do these have in common? They have four in common. So if I take out a positive four, I'm left with X plus three. The key is that these two things are the same. Since those are the same, we can pull out the x plus 3. What's left, because I pulled these two out, I'm left with x plus 4. And that's how you factor without a GCF. Let's try another one. Some of these are more tricky than others. It's negative 20x squared. So negative 20x squared, that equals a negative 1x. Okay, when added. So my factors of negative 20, 1 times 20, I'm going to do this quicker, 2 times 10, 3, no, 4, yes. So if I add or subtract any of these, it can be add or subtract. Let's put subtract here. Can I get to a negative 1? Yes. If I have a pause, I'm sorry, if I have a positive 4 and a negative 5, I can get to a negative 1 when I add these two together. So again, adding or subtracting, I get it. So you're actually taking negative 5 plus 4 or 4 minus 5, I get to a negative 1. So those are the two factors as a positive 4x and a negative 5x. You can see I left off the x just because I'm going a little quicker. I bring down that negative 20, that guy, and bring down that first term. Now I'm going to group what's in common, x, x, bring out that x, and I'm left with x plus 4. What am I going to take out here? Always take the negative. There's a negative here, a coefficient. Take it with you. So I'm going to take out a negative 5 and I'm left with an x plus 4 because we need these two things to be the same. Since they are the same, I can say x plus 4 and x minus 5. And those are my factors. Getting a little complicated here. Our numbers are getting a little bit bigger. So negative 40x squared. Factors of negative 40, that's going to equal 18. So 1 times 40, 2 times 20. Oh, that could be it. 3, 4 times 10. So if one of these is negative, it would be a negative 2, right? Multiply these, and I get a negative 40. Add these, I get a positive 18. So that becomes a negative 2x and a positive 20x. Bring down that negative 10 
and that 4x squared from here. If I'm going too fast, slow it down and watch it again. I'm going to group. What is my greatest common factor here? Since these numbers are a little larger, it's larger. So this one is actually 2x. So if I take out the 2x, I'm left with 2x minus 1. This divided by this is 1. Here, I'm going to take out a 10. So if I take out a positive 10, I'm left with 2x minus 1. Again, yay, these two are the same. That's key. I'm going to take the 2x minus 1 out, and I'm left with 2x plus 10. Why does this one not look correct? Because this one looks like it can be factored out again. I'm going to keep going. We'll think about that one. Okay, let's do this one. What is 3 times 24? Three times 24. Three times 24. 72. So 72 x squared. Factors of 72, so sometimes you have to get it and do it. 2 goes into 72, and it needs to equal a negative 22. And this is a positive 72. So obviously, both of these are going to be negative, negative times negative, to get to a negative 22. Okay, so let me keep going. So 72 divided by 2 is 36. Those two together does not get me to 22. 72 divided by 3 is 24. That's not going to get me there. 72 divided by 4 is 18. Does that get me to 22? It does. So these are going to be my numbers. If they're both negative, I get to a negative 22. When I multiply them, I get a positive 72. So that becomes a negative 4x, and this becomes a negative 18x. Bring down that 3, bring down that 24x squared. Do my grouping. What's my GCF here? I would say it's 4x. Bring out that 4x, and I'm left with 6x minus 1. And I'm going to take out, I need to get rid of this negative. If it's a leading coefficient here, I need to take the negative. So I'm going to say a negative 3. So if I, oh, I squished it out, negative 3. Let's get rid of him. So if I take out the negative 3, I'm left with 6x minus 1. So these two are the same. So I'm left with 4x minus 3, because a lot of you are like, well, can I put this guy first? Yes, you can put this guy first. And then what do they have in common? 6x minus 1. So this is the final answer. This is the final answer. Okay, what's on the next page? More practice? Yes. Okay, it's important that these are in a certain order, and this is called the standard form. So it needs to be in that order for this to work. So that means I'm going to have to subtract 12 from both sides. So I end up with 3c squared minus 5c minus 12. Now I can do this. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So that's a, what, a negative 36c squared. So the factors of negative, you guys get really good at this, by the way. That's going to equal, what's it going to equal? A negative 5c. So 1 times 36, 2 times, what is that, 18? Uh, 3 times 12? 4 times, is it 9? And I think that's going to get us to that negative 5, 
right? One of these is going to have to be negative, so it's going to be the negative 9, positive 4 to get to a negative 5. So that would be a 4C minus 9C. Bring down that 12 and bring down that 3C squared, and that was a positive 4C. Okay, do my groupings. Take out my C, that was the only thing here. So I'm left with 3C plus 4. And again, I want to take out that negative coefficient, that leading coefficient in this group. So that would be a negative 3. And I'm left with a 3C plus 4. Again, make sure these two are the same. I'm going to have my C minus 3, just so you can see it doesn't matter. And then this 3C plus 4. The other thing it doesn't matter is if you flip-flop this. If you put the negative 9C here and the 4C here, you will still get the correct answer. Okay, this one we have to subtract all of this over to the other side. So 10X squared minus 11X minus 6. Negative 60X squared. Uh, and I need to get to a negative 11X. So my factors of 60, 160, 230, uh, 320, 4 go into 60, I think it does. 4 goes into 6 once, 15. Are we to 11 yet? Yes. Which one's going to be a negative? So 4 minus 15, positive 4 minus 15 will give me a negative 11. Four x negative fifteen x minus six, and then we'll bring down the ten x squared. Positive. Okay. Groupings. What goes into both? Uh, two x. Bring out that 2x, and I'm left with 5x plus 2. What's my GCF here? Uh, is it a negative 3? So I want to take that negative. So I'm going to bring out a negative 3, and I'm left with 5x plus 2. Perfect. These are the same. 5x plus 2, 2x minus 3. Perfect. Uh, what's so special about these two? Does anybody see anything? What's special about these things is he's a perfect square. He's a perfect square. He's a perfect square. He's a perfect square. Now, can I, we have to think about this. Can I say, what's, what's the square root of this? 6. Could we say x plus 6 times x plus 6? Yes. Why? Because they're all addition. This times this is that. And I know I talked about the FOIL thing. So this is 6x plus this 6x is my 12x. And then x times x is x squared. Let's see if this is a negative. Can we still do that? So on this one, could we say x minus 9, x minus 9, because that's the squares. But why am I putting minus? I'm putting minus because this is a negative 18. Negative times negative is positive. This plus this, so negative 9 plus negative 9 equals the negative 18, and then x times x. So just, you know, if you see a shortcut, you absolutely want to take it.